Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Kate. And today by viewer request, we're sharing some of the ways that we like to pray with sacred art, otherwise known as Visio Divina. So we're definitely art lovers here and there are many different ways to pray with art, some more official than others, but today we wanted to show you how we do it. We like to keep it pretty simple here. We're pretty informal, but we think this easy approach can work for anyone. It definitely works for us here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first off, we want to say that praying with art is not hard at all, and you're probably already doing it a lot more than you realize. For example, if you see a holy card that catches your eye and you wind up saying the prayer on the back, then that is considered praying with art. Or if you walk into a church and you see the sunlight streaming through a beautiful stained glass window and you take a minute to let yourself be drawn into the scene and think about it, that is also praying with art. So it doesn't have to be complicated, which is great because simple works best for us. Okay, so one of our favorite ways to pray with sacred art is during specific church seasons like Advent or Lent. We will pick out a book that has a lot of pictures in it, and then every day we will look at a couple and reflect on what's going on in the scene. So we'll just take a moment and imagine that we're at the Last Supper or the Nativity and what that might have been like, and it inspires us to pray more deeply. So our book, for example, from this past Lent was the story of Jesus, which has all kinds of really wonderful images about the life of Christ to reflect on. We got this one at a thrift store, but we've been known to get our books from all over. We've even checked out library books just for this purpose. <laughs> And we've used lots of different books throughout the years, but one of our recent finds was Sacred Art Every Catholic Should Know by Jem Sullivan, which we think is a great resource for Visio Divina. This book was a super fantastic find. It makes getting started with praying with sacred art so easy, and we like it for several reasons. Number one is that it has a lot of our very favorite artwork in it and there is a reflection with each painting that walks you through all the details and what they mean, all obviously from a Catholic perspective. And this book will take you all the way through the church year, not just Lent and Advent. It has all the feast days, all the seasons in it, Pentecost, the Annunciation, the Transfiguration. And as a special bonus, a lot of the major feast days have more than one piece of art to go with them. So if you feel like you want to get started with Visio Divina, but feel overwhelmed, don't know how to do so, then we think this book is a great option. It is like the starter kit for praying with sacred art. And if you homeschool, this could also be a great option for picture study. We definitely love our art books here, but there are other easy ways to pray with sacred art. For instance, we take full advantage of refrigerator art here. We like to have pictures of Jesus and the saints on our fridge so that every time we go to get something out of the refrigerator, we can think of Jesus and be extra grateful for the food that we have. So we do like to change this artwork up seasonally. For Divine Mercy Sunday, we had the original Divine Mercy image on the fridge, but then we also have pictures that go with the church year. And one of our very favorite sources for this type of artwork is pages from old Catholic calendars. For example, last September, we put up this picture for the Feast of the Archangels. So we find that it's really fun to swap out the pictures. And also, you know, what are you gonna do with your old Catholic calendars? You can give them new life with Visio Divina. So another way that we love to pray with sacred art is to have it set as a phone lock screen. So if you think about it, we are looking at our phones dozens of times every single day. So if we have a picture of sacred art there, it is handy whenever we want it. And we can stop and look at the details or ask the Blessed Mother or whoever's in the picture to pray for us. Or also if you're say waiting for an appointment like the doctor or the dentist and you're nervous or upset about it, then you can just turn on your phone, take a few minutes to look at that picture, kind of have like a little heavenly hug to help you calm down. I really enjoy praying with the artwork on the cover of the Magnificat, you know, the daily mass missile. Usually there's some type of really beautiful image on the front. And then also in the back, there will be another picture that you can look at. 
This is the one coming up for May 2024, and this one will have the picture and then a detailed explanation about the artist and what he was trying to convey in the picture. So I learned so much from reading that every month. So I will continually come back to these two pictures and study them as the month goes by. The pictures do follow the liturgical year. So this is just a really simple, easy way for me to pray with sacred art, and it's definitely been a big win for me. So another way that we like to pray is inspired by Pope Francis. So whenever he is about to go on a trip, he will stop by one particular painting of the Blessed Mother and ask for her prayers and protection while he is traveling. So this is something we have definitely adopted. We have a beautiful picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe at our church that we love to stop by and say a prayer at. And this is something we do quite frequently, not just when we're about to go out of town. So I once read the story of a saint who couldn't read or write, but she always kept a holy card with a picture of the crucifixion in her pocket, and she would pull it out multiple times during the day and study it. And she said, this is my book. It teaches me everything that I need to know. So that story has always stayed with me. And for that reason, one of my favorite ways to pray with sacred art is by using holy cards. For instance, this is one of my very favorite pictures, Jesus praying in the garden. So I have my collection and I'll look through them periodically and just pull out one that really speaks to me. I think this is a really great way to pray with sacred art because a card like this, you can keep in your purse or in your pocket and you can pull it out during the day whenever you need a prayer boost. We have also found that praying the rosary with art can just take it to a whole new level. If you're praying with a picture of the resurrection or the visitation right in front of you while you're say your decade, it can really help you just hone in and focus and just elevate the experience. So I remember as a kid getting a book of these rosary cards with pictures in them and I was so excited. I loved holding them and looking at them while I prayed. So doing the rosary with art is a great option for younger kids. And one of our recommendations for that is this book, Splendors of the Rosary from Magnificat Press. So it has everything you need. It has art and pictures. So it's a great resource though there are tons of other places online where you can buy rosary books or print out pictures for the rosary. So we'll have some of those linked down below. This past Lent, we decided that we would keep a picture of the original Divine Mercy image, which again is our favorite, in the car with us so that we could have Jesus with us all the time, thinking of him, looking at him. And that has proved to be so, so helpful. It's really great having Jesus in the car with you because whenever we're stuck at a traffic light or maybe held up in traffic, he encourages us to be more patient and more considerate, helps us pass the time thinking of him, so I know that I will continue to always have some type of sacred art in my car. And I feel like, you know, that way I can use all those little extra moments to direct my thoughts towards God. So creating a digital art folder is another thing we've done to make praying with art easier. So every now and then we just come across a picture that really speaks to us. And then we just go ahead and save it into that folder. For example, recently we found this rendition of The Last Supper by Pascal Daniel Bouvere. I hope I'm saying that right. And we just fell in love with it. So boom, it definitely went right into the art folder. <laughs> And creating one of these folders doesn't take long at all. And then you have a place where all of your favorite images live and you can pull them out and pray with them whenever you want. So if you're thinking that, yeah, maybe I would like to give praying with sacred art a try, but I'm really not on board with having books and calendar pages and cards all over the house, then this is a great option going paperless. So that is a look at how we do Visio Divina here, and we hope it will inspire you to give it a try. So let us know down in the comments if you have a particular piece of art that you like to pray with. We would love to hear about it. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.